know that smoking and thyroid health conditions are interlinked with each other? Do you smoke? Do you have a thyroid problem? It might be possible that your thyroid condition may be because of the smoking. How they are related with each other? That is what we are going to discuss in today's topic. Namaste. My name is Dr. Tanvi Mayur Patel. I am an endocrinologist, hormone specialist doctor from Mumbai, India. Now, before we begin this video, I want to have one important information. If you want to watch this video in Hindi language, then on the I button, there is a link. You can click on that link and this video will be played in Hindi language for you. अगर आप आज के इस वीडियो को हिंदी भाषा में देखना चाहते हैं तो ऊपर आई बटन पे एक लिंक है अगर आप उस लिंक पे क्लिक करेंगे तो इस वीडियो को हिंदी भाषा में पाएंगे स्मोकिंग अ वेरी कॉमन एडिक्शन वेरी फेमस इन अ यंग पीपल वेरी फेमस इवन इन ओल्डर जनरेशन नो मैटर वेदर यू आर लिविंग इन अ स्मॉलर विलेजेस और अ बिगर सिटीज स्मोकिंग हैज बिकम वेरी कॉमन एडिक्शन and it is becoming more and more prevalent and more and more people are entering into the various forms of a tobacco use now the tobacco use can be of any form whether you are consuming it orally or you are burning in the form of a smoking all of that can have a detrimental effect on your overall health nowadays a young generation are more a fascinated towards the e-cigarettes hookahs and vaping all of that also contains some of the other form of a tobacco elements now all of these tobacco elements are not only bad for your overall health but also for your thyroid health and how they are linked with each other and what all you can do to prevent it that is what we are going to discuss in our today's topic so let's begin so now this tobacco basically has a three main chemicals first is a hydrocarbon second is a nicotine and the third is a cyanide when you burn this when you burn a cigarette this cyanide gets converted into a chemical called as a thiocyanate and besides thiocyanate and all other chemicals which are toxic for your health how they interfere with your thyroid health see the interference can happen by various methods first it affects on your iodine metabolism when you consume any food which has a iodine or when you eat a iodized salt this iodine is going to get absorbed in your intestine when you smoke the absorption of this iodine gets decreased and due to that you might land up into iodine deficiency at the same time chemicals present in the cigarette can also increases the excretion that is a throwing out of the iodine from your body via kidney so what will happen your absorption has decreased and your excretion has increased and both of them together causes the iodine deficiency now iodine is a very important micronutrient which you need for your good thyroid health if you don't have a right amount of the iodine then you will develop various kind of a thyroid health problems and the one of the most common health problem is the goiter goiter is nothing but the enlargement of the thyroid gland it is found that the people who smoke especially if it is a young generation they tend to have a diffuse goiter wherein their entire thyroid gland is inflamed secondly if you smoke and if you are an adult person in that case you tend to have a multi nodular goiter also called as a mng here there are plenty many small small nodules present in your thyroid gland so both this kind of a goiter happens in the people who smoke at the same time when you smoke there's a lot of internal cellular inflammation and this cellular inflammation when it accumulates it can become a root of a many autoimmune health condition now because this thyroid condition is also an autoimmune health condition your autoimmune system gets triggered and it starts making the antibodies and when these antibodies attack on your thyroid gland you tend to get a you tend to get a thyroid imbalance now if you already have a thyroid problem 
and if you are taking the medication for that and if you continue to smoke it might be possible that you might not get a full benefit of the medication the medication might not be adjusting well with you you might need to readjust your dose of medication it might happen that your symptoms doesn't go off and you don't feel good at the same time if you continue to smoke your disease can progress and it can lead you towards a complication now the smoking has a very bad effect especially if you have a hyperthyroidism now what is hyperthyroidism here your thyroid gland is working more than the requirement this condition is also called as an graves disease and it is also an autoimmune health problem so the people who smoke they have a two times higher risk of getting a graves disease compared to the people who never smoke it doesn't matter whether you smoke regularly or you smoke intermittently it also doesn't matter if you smoke many cigarettes per day or a few cigarettes per day the damage is going to happen so it is always advisable to completely stop smoking now what will happen now when you have a graves disease your body is making more and more t3 and t4 hormone and that can have a detrimental effect on most of your body organs including your heart at the same time people who have a graves disease they have a higher chances of getting a eye condition called as a graves ophthalmopathy or a thyroid eye disease nearly 1/4 of the people who have a graves disease have a thyroid eye disease again this increases more in a people who smoke now what happens in graves ophthalmopathy or a thyroid eye disease now what happens when you have the antibodies when these antibodies start attacking on your eye and the eye cells it can lead you into thyroid eye disease at the same time when you chronically or a long time when you smoke the reach of the oxygen to the eye cells reduces and that causes the internal swelling of your eye so what all symptoms a person can get you might see that your eye is a swollen and this swollen eye is also called as a proptosis and many a times such people have a very scary look or they it seems that they are staring and looking at you continuously at the same time their eyes can be red it can be swollen now sometimes it can also affect your vision people might have a reduced vision sometimes they even have a double vision because your eye is bulged it doesn't close properly due to that what can happen is that you might have a dryness of your eye and which leads you into irritation and itching and that can even lead into more and more watering in your eyes sometimes this can also damage your optic nerve and mind you this damage can be even irreversible and if that happens it might land you up into a complication called as a blindness yes if the optic nerve gets damaged your vision will be deteriorated gradually and you might even become a completely blind so this all complications can happen if you continue to smoke so it is always advisable that you smoke that you stop smoking if you have any kind of a thyroid health problem it might be even possible that if you have a thyroid eye disease and you take a treatment for that they might not work completely in your case if you continue to smoke by the way to treat a thyroid eye disease you will need two specialist doctors one is a thyroid doctor endocrinologist and second is an eye doctor that is an ophthalmologist together they as a team they are going to manage your case to manage a thyroid eye disease you might be even prescribed sometimes a steroid injections sometimes a radiotherapy or even a surgery in certain cases so please make sure that you don't land up in such complications due to the smoking so if you are having a habit of smoking try to quit that habit from today itself if you feel that in the past you have tried to stop smoking and you failed in that please don't be disheartened you might need a help of a healthcare professionals or doctors and they will definitely help you out please understand smoking is a very common addiction so when you want to stop smoking of course there are plenty many people just like you who might need to stop smoking so you can take their help and stop smoking the end very good news is that if you stop smoking 
the effect of the smoking which has had on your thyroid can be even reversed up to an extent so this will definitely improve your thyroid health so please do keep this point in mind and stop smoking if you found some good information after watching this video please click on the like button if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe so that you will get more and more health related especially hormone related information and then there is a bell icon if you click there as and when my new video will be published you will be instantly notified and if you have any personal question pertaining to your thyroid you can leave your question in the comment box i try to read the question as early as i can and will try to reply you also Thank you for joining me till now and I wish you a great health and please stop smoking. We will meet again till then please take care of yourself. Namaste.